Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show about the English grammars. There are 12 tenses in English grammar. Three main tenses. One, present simple. Two, past simple. 3. Future Simple 4. Express 1. Present Simple 2. Present Continuous 3. Present Perfect 4. Present Perfect Continuous So now we jump to the present simple first. 1. Present simple tense. The present simple tense is used to describe any actions that are habitual, routine, or facts that are generally true. In English, it is formed by using the best form of the verb with slight modifications for certain singular subjects. He see it. Here, the basic structure of the present simple tense. For most verbs, I, you, we, they, plus, best form of the verb. I eat, you play, we work. He, she, it, plus, base form of the verb plus, as he eats, she plays, it works. Negative form, add, do not, don't, or does not, doesn't before the base form of the verb. I do not eat. She does not play. Question form. Begin the sentence with do or does, followed by the subject. Then the base form of the verb. E.g. Do you eat? Does she play? Here are a few examples. Affirmative. I go to work every day. She plays tennis on weekends. The sun rises in the east. Negative. I don't like coffee. He doesn't speak Spanish. They don't live in the city. Questions. Do you speak English? Does she work here? Do they have any kids? The present simple tense is used not only for the actions happening right now, but also for habitual actions, general truths, and scheduled events. Present continuous tense. The present continuous tense, also known as the present progressive tense, is used to describe the actions that are happening at the moment of the speaking or actions that are ongoing and temporary in nature. The structure of the present continuous tense is formed using the present tense of the verb to be and is a, followed by the base form of the main verb with the ing suffix.
He is the structure, singular, subject, plus, am, is, plus verb, base form, plus, ing, plural, subject, plus, are, plus verb, base form, plus, ing. Here are some examples. 1. I am typing on my computer. 2. She is reading a book. 3. They are playing football. 4. We are listening to music. 5. He is cooking dinner. In each of these sentences, the action is happening at the moment of speaking or is considered temporary and ongoing. 3. Present perfect tense The present perfect tense is a verb tense used to express actions that happening at an indeterminate time in the past or that have relevance to the present moment. It is formed by using the auxiliary verb have or has. For third person, singular subjects followed by the past participle of the main verb. The basic structure of the present perfect tense is subject plus have has plus past participle. Here are some examples. 1. I have eaten lunch already. 2. She has visited Paris several times. 3. We have seen that movie before. 4. They have finished their homework. The present perfect tense is often used to talk about experiences, actions that happened at some definite time in the past, actions that started in the past and continue into the present. And actions that have a connection to the present moment. It is commonly used in English to convey a sense of completion or experience without specifying exactly when the action occurred. Four, present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense is a verb form used to express an action that started in the past and is still continuing into the present moment. It emphasizes the duration or ongoing nature of an action. The structure of the present perfect continuous tense is formed by using the present tense of the auxiliary verb to have, have, has the past participle been and the present participle ing form of the main verb. The general structure is subject plus has have plus been plus verb ing. For example, I have been working on this project for two hours. She has been studying 
Spanish since last year. They have been living in London for five years. This term is commonly used to one, describe actions that started in the past and are still continuing in the present. Two, emphasize the duration or ongoing nature of an action. Three, describe temporary actions or situations that may change in the future. The present perfect continuous tense is often used with time expressions such as for, duration and since. Starting point. Five, past simple tense. The past simple tense, also known as the simple past tense, is a tense used to describe actions, events, or states that occurred and were completed in the past. In English, it is typically formed by adding ed to regular verbs or using irregular verb forms. Here's how to form the past importance for regular verbs. For regular verbs ending in consonant plus y, replace y with ied, e.g., study, studied. For regular verbs ending in e, at d, e.g., love, loved. For regular verbs ending in a consonant plus vowel plus consonant pattern except W, H, and Y as the last letter, double the last consonant and add ED, stop, stopped. For regular verbs ending in other patterns simply add ed eg play plate however many verbs in english are irregular and don't follow these patterns they have unique forms for the past tense and they need to be memorized. For example, go, went, eat, at, see, saw, do, did, have, had. Here are some examples of the past importance in sentences. She studied for her exam last night. He worked to the store yesterday. They played basketball after school. In each of these sentences, the action occurred and was completed in the past, which is why the past important is used. Six, past continuous tense. The past continuous tense, also known as the past progressive tense, is a verb tense used to describe ongoing actions or events that were happening at a specific point in the past. It is 
formed by combining the past tense of the verb to be was the with the base form of the main verb and the ing suffix here is the structure of the past continuous tense positive form subject plus was verb plus verb base form plus ing example she was studying when the phone rang negative form subject plus was verb not plus verb base form plus ing example they were listening to music while they were studying question form was verb plus subject plus verb base form plus ing seven past perfect tense the past perfect tense is a verb tense used to describe an accent that was completed before another past accent or event it is formed by using the past tense of the auxiliary verb to have had followed by the past participle of the main verb the structure of the past perfect tense is as follows subject plus had plus participle 8. Past perfect continuous tense. The past perfect continuous tense, also known as the past perfect progressive tense, is used to describe actions or events that were ongoing in the past and were still in progress up to a certain point in the past or actions that had been happening for a period of time before another action or even in the past the structure of the past perfect continuous tense is formed using the past perfects of the auxiliary verb to have had the past participle of the verb to be been and the present participle of the main verb verb plus ing here is the formula subject plus head plus been plus present participle plus sorry verb plus ing Examples 1. She had been working at the company for five years before she got promoted. 2. By the time we arrived, they had been waiting for over an hour. 3. They had been studying English for two hours before the father outage interrupted them. Four. He had been playing soccer for 10 years before he decided to switch to baseball. In these sentences, the accents described working, waiting, studying, playing were ongoing and in progress at a specific point in the past or up to a certain moment in the past. 9. Future simple tense 
the future simple terms, also known as the simple future terms, is used to describe actions or events that will happen in the future. In English, it is formed using the the auxiliary verb will, followed by the base form of the main verb. Here's the basic structure of the future simple terms. Subject plus via plus base form of the verb. For example, I will go to the store. She will study for her exam. They will travel to Paris next summer. In some cases, the contraction R can be used instead of IVIA. It's important to note that VIA is the most common auxiliary verb used to form the future tense, but in informal speech and writing on the into is often used as well. For example, I am going to finish my homework later. She is going to visit her grandparents next weekend. Both forms can be used interchangeably in many contexts. Sort will tends to be more common in formal writing. Ten future continuous tense. The future continuous tense is used to describe an action or events that will be ongoing at a particular point in the future. It's formed by using the auxiliary verb will or saw, followed by the base form of the verb to be either am, is, or an. And the present participle of the main verb which ends in ing. Here's the basic structure subject plus will saw plus be plus present participle of the main verb. Examples 1. She will be studying at the library tomorrow evening. 2. They will be attending the conference next week. 3. I will be working on the project all day tomorrow. 4. We will be traveling to Europe this summer. 5. He will be cooking dinner when you arrive. In each of these examples, the action indicated by the verb is ongoing or in progress at a specified time in the future. 11. Future perfect tense. The future perfect tense is a verb tense used to describe an action that will be completed in the future before another action or time. It is formed by using will have or saw have, followed by the past participle of the main verb. Here are some examples. By the time she arrives, I will have finished my work. He will have graduated from university by next year. They will have completed the project by the deadline. 
in each of these example the action described will be completed in the future before a specific point or action in the future future perfect continuous tense the future perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action or events that will be ongoing and still in progress at a specified point in the future it is formed using the future auxiliary verb we have been followed by the present participle of the main verb verb plus ing here's the structure subject class we have been plus present participle verb plus ing here are some examples one by next year i will have been working at this company for 10 years two she will have been studying english for six months by the time she takes the proficiency test. Three, by the time you arrive, we will have been waiting for two hours. Four, they will have been traveling around the world for a year when they finally return home. Five, by the end of the month, he will have been living in his new apartment for three years. In each of these examples, the action is ongoing and we continue until a specific point in the future.